Hey guys, um, this is Madison Canary. Most of you know me as yoga teacher extraordinaire, if I do say so myself. But what most of you do not know is that my other passion and my other great love in this world is beer. So I started drinking um, IPAs when I first started drinking beer. Then a student actually introduced me to sours, so spontaneous fermentation shower, sours and fruit beers. Um, that is really what got me into the, not only drinking of, but the art and the appreciation of what beer can be and the miracle that is fermentation and what we can do with all these flavors. So I just thought I'd start kind of sharing a little bit of this side of myself with everyone because it lights me up and excites me just as much as the yoga side. So today, actually, I went to High Times and did not get too many sour beers. I only got one sour. Um, usually when I go to High Times and do a sour beer haul, I spend upwards of $100. And that's just kind of the budget that is sour beer. It's kind of like having a nice wine um, taste. And, you know, quarantine, balling on a budget. <sighs> not really here for all that right now. So... Everything I got today was $50, which I consider great considering how many beers I got. And I was inspired by a friend of mine who yesterday gave me a spicy mango cart by uh, Golden Road. And so that's the first thing I got. I got a six pack of Golden Road, a spicy mango cart. You guys, it's fruity, it's spicy. It has just the right amount of alcohol that you can like sip on a couple and still be like good to go chit chat hang out with your friends i just really cannot recommend it enough spicy mango cart it really truly so golden road made this as a homage to the fruit um sellers in los angeles and i don't know if you've ever been walking around on a hot day and you look over and there's one of those fruit street vendors and it is like everything that you've ever needed out of life they like cut up the cucumber and then they cut up the mango and they cut up the watermelon and then they put the I'm gonna pronounce this incorrectly, tagine on it. That is what this is. It is tagine and mango mixed together. Everything you need on a hot day, go get yourself some, it is worth it. So, just because I happen to be looking for these bad boys, um, I discovered that Golden Road does a bunch of other um, things in their, in their same, in their same thing. So within the street vendor, fruit vendor line, they also have regular mango cart, which it's good, but it's not exceptional. It really does just taste like mango juice. I don't know. I personally, if I was going to have a mango cart, what I would actually do is take some fresh mango puree, put a little bit of vodka in there. That's a good thing. But if I discovered that they also have guava dia, I have not tried it yet, you guys. Guava. Guava. Blonde ale with guava and pineapple. Cancel your trip to Hawaii. It has a two week quarantine and get yourself a can of guava dia. Yum. I mean, with that being said, I haven't tried it yet. So maybe it's not yet, yeah, but it looks like a good time. Next thing, and I haven't tried this one either, is Palisades Pineapple, made in LA. So Palisades Pineapple, this is similar thing. It is a blonde ale with um, pineapple. These two I really like are a little bit higher in the alcohol. So the mango cart's only 4%, which I said, is, it, like I said, is nice, easy drinkable, but isn't gonna get you anywhere. Um, the the guava is 4.5 and I believe the pineapple is 4.8. And so those are a little more productive, shall we say, for the calories, which I'm always a fan of. So I did a split um, six pack. High Times is amazing and lets you kind of put together your own six packs. I did a split six pack, half of the pineapple, half of the guava. Then I already had two six packs in my cart and I was like, well, I mean, I'm already here. So I like walked into their beer fridge, which is a very dangerous and very expensive proposition and discovered that June Shine is doing a midnight painkiller, midnight painkiller. So it's written upside down, 
I am so here for some clever marketing, BTW, clever marketing. It's upside down because you flip it upside down and it releases activated charcoal. You guys, they were like, Madison Canary loves kombucha, teaches yoga, and drinks beer. We need to make something for her. It's called Midnight Painkiller. Good job. Coconut, pineapple, orange, nutmeg, 6%. I haven't tried it yet. I'm pretty, I pretty much feel like they could have called this the Madison. Although Madison is already a drink. We'll talk about that later. And I just got one of the good old standbys, Blood Orange Mint. I love their Blood Orange Mint flavor. Fruity, easy. It's Blood Orange Mint, honey, green tea, cane sugar. Um, honestly, June Shine is not my favorite hard kombucha, but what I do love about June Shine, it has the lowest sugar. So I prefer the flavor of some others, but those others also have much higher sugar content, and this one is much lower. Uh, I also still have not been to the June Shine Brewery yet, and I really want to go. And then the piece de resistance, as it were, is my sour beer splurge. So this um, brewery is called Black Project, um, spontaneous and wild ales. And again, can we take an applaud for this marketing? All of their stuff was black with black labels and like the shiny stickers. I love it. So their tagline is innovation in the research and development of spontaneous fermentation. I mean, sign me up. This is what I am talking about. I love that we have taken beer, we have taken fermentation, and we have taken this whole process to such a next level. It's amazing to see what people are doing with a little bit of fruit and a little bit of sugar and some open hair. So these guys, Black Project, are new. I noticed at high times they had two whole um, rows in on the near the sour beers, and usually that means that they're new. They're kind of pushing the market a little bit. So they had bottles, but all their bottles were 23. Their big bottles were 23 to 30. Their small bottles were 18 to 25. Um, I got this one can, and I do not see my receipt. I did see my receipt. I'm sure it was five, six bucks, they tend to be about that much. And I haven't tried anything from Black Project, so I will definitely try this and report back. And this is their Apex Sour Ale with Orange and Cinnamon. So if you are into sours, not only are you probably gonna wanna check out some Black Project, because I have a feeling it's gonna be what we're all gonna be talking about soon, but you also wanna continue to stay tuned to my future videos, because we are gonna talk all things beer, we are especially gonna talk all things sour, and I'm gonna try every single one of these and give my opinions, reviews, ideas, and grand reveals. So I hope to see you then, and we will see you soon.